So in the spirit, I hear a lot of people just ignoring me, but I expected that. I was having a conversation with Moses yesterday. Reminiscent of uh, how you were delivered and will continue to be delivered. The uh, entire crux of our Heavenly Father's involvement while you were here, Mary, to convince you to let go of the man-made teachings and see that your condition, like many of your guys' conditions, is spiritual. And Moses said, please pardon their sins, have mercy. So that's what we are doing. You must see that the entire point of the scripture has to do with you being lined up with God's will for your life and that being confirmed to you. So it's always the smartest thing to start with what life revolves around. Who gave you life? Who is sustaining your life? Are you spiritually alive? And then you see that the gospel was always meant to complement the kingdom marriage. So it has to tie back to the cross. That's what we all have in common. Are you carrying your cross today? Everything is going to start with a simple task. <clears throat> no harm befalls the righteous, but the wicked are filled with trouble. But the wicked are filled with trouble. But the wicked are filled with trouble. Lying lips are extremely disgusting to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are his delight. A shrewd man is reluctant to display his knowledge until the proper time. But the heart of overconfident fools proclaims foolishness. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the negligent and lazy will be put to forced labor. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs it down, but a good encouraging word makes it glad. The righteous man is a guide to his neighbor but the way of the wicked leads them astray. The lazy man does not catch and roast his prey, but the precious possession of a wise man is diligence because he recognizes opportunities and seizes them. In the way of righteousness is life, and in its pathway there is no death but immortality, eternal life. And that was in Proverbs. The Bible says that we need to control our tongue if we want to enjoy life and that the tongue of the wise brings healing. So Mary was here and I healed her. She had many afflictions. <clears throat> There's Mary. And I told her it might take up to three days. We're doing something here because we understood we only had so much time with you, Mary, because we already knew what was going to happen. What I can say about the kingdom marriage, but it's so much to look at this. It is everything I said it was. It is the solution to all of your problems. You have to see, those of you that were taken into the air, you were taken into the air. You go through a process. Because the scripture says, 
the Lord scourges every son that he takes on. So I got a scourging, which initially I saw coming. Like the scripture says, if you continue in your rebellion and your sin, all you do is put me back on the cross. That'll put me in a bad mood. But my Heavenly Father was telling me, well, you're learning something new right now. Let's take this back, since you didn't do anything with it yesterday. <clears throat> we'll pass to someone else. <clears throat> And that's really how it works. If you're not willing to take your place in my kingdom and work towards your destiny, which is what I do every single day, I empower myself through obedience, preparing for what is going to happen, what my destiny revolves around. And your destiny revolves around your kingdom spouse. There's no other union I'm going to be in the midst of. So first rejoice that I am in the midst of your marriage. The happiness you will experience is going to come from first your spiritual attraction to each other. So your prodigal has to have the Holy Spirit for you to be attracted to them. What I noticed in me and Mary's situation, our marriage, that when she came here, the last time she came here, and she'll come again, everything kind of got reset to like uh, bare minimum. Okay. Like we were... And this ties back to my prophet and what my prophet was saying. Because everything that my prophet said happened between me and Mary. <clears throat> kind of a, who are you? And then the amount of times... Because what you're working towards, and it may seem scatterbrained, but I'm just saying what the Holy Spirit tells me to say, the way the Holy Spirit tells me to say it. So I know in my videos, it's 100% from the Holy Spirit. Well, I was telling Mary, don't try and self-educate yourself unless it was my spirit that told you, watch this video. And Mary had all these weird, self-taught, made sense to her because what many of you need to understand is the devil preyed on your intellect to make you feel wiser than you actually had the fruit to prove that you are. And she said, well, when you sneeze, that means... You're casting out a demon out of yourself. I can't have a demon. I cast demons out of you. <clears throat> so you were supposed to, and this was a command from your Heavenly Father, babe. These have not been moved over here. So you should be having fun with your spouse. That is what you should be doing at this moment. If you're not doing that, you are doing something wrong. Perfect. <clears throat> 